Welcome back everybody, my name is Philip and if you're wondering how all these photographers seem to be at the perfect spot at the right time to get these perfect skies, well they probably aren't. Okay, maybe they are, but anyway, if you are at the right spot at the wrong time and your sky looks crap, you can swap it. Back in the days, this would have taken forever in Photoshop, nowadays it's literally a click. So let's jump right into Photoshop and have a look at how you can swap out your skies within 20 seconds, maybe? Maybe half a minute. So here we are on Photoshop and what I always like to do is make a copy of my background layer just that in case I mess up, I have my original layer at the very bottom of my document. For that hit the command or control if you're on the windows and J key on your keyboard and you're gonna get a copy of whatever you had selected. That's perfect because with that go to the top to edit and then down to sky replacement. This is already where the magic happens. Simply click on the little drop down next to the sky and select the sky that you like. You can also get free skies from this spot by clicking on this little gear symbol and from there get to get more skies and then download free skies. Alternatively, you can always go to websites like pexels.com and simply get skies right here because some of them or most of them have no copyright at all. So back in Photoshop, as I said, click the little drop down and find the sky that you like. In my case, I like this one actually a lot. Once selected, go back to this particular, you know, dialog window right here. On the top part, you can adjust the sky itself. You can make it more yellow, more blue, brighter, less bright. But in my case, I'm more concerned with the foreground because I need to adjust some color. Photoshop will automatically detect the main color of the sky and you can now adjust the foreground color using whatever color feel the sky has. So if I go upwards at that particular scale or line here, I'm gonna add more reddish because the red is the dominant color in the sky, which is nice. Now I don't need it that much, I just want it a little bit, maybe something like that. And once you're okay with everything, simply hit the OK button. As you can see, Photoshop will put everything neatly into a little folder that you can simply open, close, work on single parts of that sky or move on with your editing. The good part is it really works well, even with, you know, if you have things in the background or in the distance on the horizon or whatever, it is well able to identify what is your photo and then make sure not to delete anything or weirdly overlap with your photo when it puts the sky in. And there we go, this is all it takes to swap out your skies in Photoshop. Might as well give our images a bit more mm, gusto. I do hope you liked the video and if you did like the video, I do hope that you're gonna hit the thumbs up button and also if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, it's gonna help me out a lot. Other than that, have a beautiful rest of your day and I shall see you next time. Bye!